Most textbooks and academics claim that Hinduism does not have any founder. Is that true? Hinduism is a principle-oriented tradition rather than a personality-oriented tradition. There's a big difference. The reason is this. When you have personalities, their cell by date sometimes is gone. In principle, say gravitation, it doesn't have a cell by date, it's there. The Hindu tradition says that we are making sense of the human condition, the nature of reality, and these answers cannot be temporary answers. They have got eternal values. That is why they use the word eternal or sanatan dharma. It means we are a principle-oriented tradition that is not restricted by time. So, can you explain what you mean by principle-oriented? Human beings like to relate to reality in terms of personalities or super-personalities in case of religions. Somehow it kind of restricts what we are trying to explore, the nature of reality. A personality-oriented tradition will pay a price when the philosophers challenge it. And the principle-oriented tradition can stand up to the challenges of science and rationality. The majority of Hindus are in love with personalities. They have lost track of the principle-oriented aspect of our tradition. Look, I'll give you an example. But suppose we say rather than talk about gravitation as a principle that underpins reality, let us talk about gravitation as load gravity and build a temple on load gravity because it's easier to focus our minds on a personality rather than a very abstract principle called gravitation. And suppose you take your friend for a walk in a very mountainous area and a huge boulder comes rolling down and flattens your friend. Of course you run to load gravity. He will shrug his shoulder and say, I'm a principle, not a personality. This is how philosophic challenges faced by world traditions suffer. We are saying a principle or a tradition can take on the challenges that come from science and rationality to progress further. This is why principle-oriented tradition is a very important aspect of our tradition.